Hi, my name is Grace Ann Schwab, and today I will be talking about the causes and effects of ocean warming. If you are unsure what this means, it is commonly known as global warming and is one of Earth's most increasingly dangerous issues. Our oceans fuel countless of communities in forms of food and income. It is extremely important that people become more aware and educated on this topic and make the necessary changes to improve the state of our waters. We only get one planet and it is our responsibility as a global society to save it. Our oceans absorb the greatest amount of solar radiation, which is why they have entered such an unhealthy state. Ocean warming is caused by many things, but the most prevalent cause is humans. Scientists at NASA have stated that the global warming trend in the last years is mainly put on the increased concentration of greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere. The reason that the greenhouse gases have increased so rapidly is because of an increase in human activity, such as non-eco-friendly buildings, cars, and more have come to arise. If life were to take a more natural course without human intervention, this would put our planet into a cooling period. The oceans absorb heat from the atmosphere, which has caused the temperatures to rise. Once the heat is absorbed, there is nowhere else for it to go besides deeper into the ocean and back into Earth's atmosphere. This can cause ice shelves to melt and water sources to evaporate. There are many reasons as to why ocean warming has become such an alarming issue, but the long and short-term effects are what we really need to worry about. Ocean warming has directly affected the lives of marine animals. Without the presence of marine life, the world would be at loss of such an amazing part of life. Neil Canton, who is an author of an article published by Science, stated that large and rapid surface temperatures of 1 degree Celsius can cause bleaching of corals. The rising temperatures can drastically affect the growth trends at a negative rate of 30%. One specific reef of interest is the one in the Red Sea, and we may see an end to it by the end of the century. Coral reefs are such a beautiful organism in this world, and it would be terrible if they die out due to human activity. But ocean warming can affect more than just corals. Some fish have been found migrating north rather than south in hopes of finding warmer temperatures. The warming changes the lives of many fish in the sense that a higher mortality rate has been recorded since they cannot survive in warmer than usual temperatures. There are major effects of ocean warming as people, on people as well. Countless cities and communities depend on the ocean for everything. Marine and freshwater capture fisheries provide about 4.3 billion people with about 15% of their protein. If this warming continues, there will not be enough fish left to feed the billions of people that need it. These fishery businesses are also a huge source of income for millions of people worldwide. As we increase the risk of fish to disease, ocean warming will be a serious issue for everyone that looks to the ocean for their everyday needs which is pretty much the entire population. These effects that I'm, the few effects that I mentioned are definitely scary, so you must be wondering what exactly can be done. While there is a multitude of actions that can be taken, we need to take steps forward towards a better future, and it is the small changes that can sometimes make the biggest impact. Reducing pollution and increasing recycling is something that everyone could help with. Creating more managed and protected marine areas in the ocean would present a safer and untouched area for marine life to live. Also strengthening scientific research to help broaden the information and knowing and knowledge to bring it to people who would also help to bring change. NASA has created their own sustainability objectives such as creating more eco-friendly buildings and increasing the use of renewable energy as well as measuring their own direct and indirect greenhouse gas emissions. Another small thing that many people can do is to shop with businesses that promote and donate to help keeping our oceans healthy. To conclude, many aspects contribute to the increase of ocean warming and something must be done. As humans, we pay a large debt to the environment since we are mainly to blame for all of this. Greenhouse gas emissions are a result of human activity, and there are numerous negative outcomes. We need to be the ones to be more informed on this in order to make a change before it's too late. Please consider this information and be more conscious of what goes on around you.